Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, and if you're new here, hello. My name is Cody and I've been producing for a couple weeks now and I wanted to go through and show you some super, super secret ways to find trap samples. That is 100% not a secret at all, but uh, I do think this method is overlooked a lot, mainly because it might just be too easy. When in my opinion, it's not about the sample itself. It's more so about what to listen to when you're trying to find samples and uh, the way you're able to flip that sample to be a reflection of your creativity and your uh, like personality. So I'm gonna be finding a sample here and flipping it. So this video is gonna be killing two birds with one stone um, on that aspect. And um, oh yeah, I'm gonna be linking a bunch of profiles and uh, playlists in the description that I think aren't like super popular, like they won't pop up in the front page when you're trying to find samples. So uh, yeah, it'll be easy for you guys to uh, start sample digging there. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, what is up? Let's uh, get into this thing. So basically, when I'm looking for samples, what I'm really trying to do is find a way to articulate the sound that I'm looking for and in like my case I like a lot of like video game sounds and I like uh, old horror movie soundtracks and stuff like that so that's exactly what I type in so uh, for example really anything's a sample so you can find it as long as you're just searching and you listen for something and you know what to listen for um, what you could do you type in something like 60 soundtrack or something if you're looking for horror I mean, or in there so you get a whole bunch of playlists uh, what you could do too is you could just change the filter to playlist so it only shows playlists and you get a millions of fucking you get a million things to look at here <clears throat> a lot of these actually I have gone through taking the time and chopped up them even if I haven't used them in a song I put them in some kits and stuff like that uh what's another one old cartoon soundtracks uh movie scores all those things all these could be s sampled it's like cab calloway stuff let it go, let it go. Oh, bless yeah like all these things man um People overlook this a lot too, I mean, because it just seems so simple and you think everybody have used these, but what you gotta look at too is the person who uploaded them. So a lot of them will have other th other playlists as well that aren't super popular. That's a producer, click there. Look, see, this guy's got a whole bunch of playlists for sampling. So the right there is hours and hours and hours worth of finding samples. Uh, you could do something like, there's nothing wrong with clicking these and finding one in here. It matters how you flip it. So um, I'll probably sample that at some point because I like Super Metroid. Let's go to Vinyl Frontier. Look, this, this guy's uploading daily a whole bunch. So there's really no reason to not be like scouring these these accounts and finding stuff. Let's, uh, this looks cool. <coughs> Yep. Begging to be sampled. So we're going to go ahead and get the ball rolling with this. Uh, what also you could do too is if, like what I pay attention to is if it has drums that either I can EQ out or if I can't, what you could do is you could fast forward because usually in most tracks there's something in the middle that has like a break, you know. <laughs> Boom, right there. Easy. So we're going to sample probably both of those. I got to find where it would be good to cut at. Let's hop right into it. I like to turn this off here. This is like the continuous that it follows. If you're zoomed in, watch. But So it follows the line. I don't like that because I'm trying to scrub precisely. So uh, we'll go like right there. Uh, and you want to turn loop on too. too. Easy. Um, 
So I'm going to try to find myself. I like a BPM that's a little bit faster than the sample. You could do a little bit slower. So I try to find somewhere where I can match it to grid. That So like speeding that up a little bit would sound cool. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add some. It already has vinyl, but I want to add just a little bit more just to feel like I did something to it. To stroke my ego, we're going to cut out the low end. And we're going to record this because I'm going to bring it into Slicer. <coughs> so open up at Edison. Uh, I'm going to open up another one because I don't want to. I want to go back into that full song. So I'm going to use another Edison. I'm going to let it loop twice just to make sure. Another thing you notice too is that it doesn't hit directly on beat, which is fine if you wanted to. Uh, if you don't want it to, like a jazz sample has a little bit of swing. You could see like here's where it should hit, here's where it should hit in the middle. What you could do is shift M, which will turn on stretch, or you could just click the stretch. You want to turn it on, I turn on none on the grid, and I match it. And from here, what you could do is take a... Um, you could be like me, be a little lazy and cut off a little bit of the end and just add it, tack it on like this. Boom, easy. Oh, or what you could do is uh, add a little bit of delay and reverb, just like very subtle, and it'll fill out that, they would actually fill out this blank space, so you wouldn't really even notice. Um, yeah, so we're, I'm going to re-record this just to be sure. Turn off stretch. Trim this bad boy. All right, now we're gonna take this and put it into Slicer. Just pull the attack just up just a little bit. Oh no, play around. Let's make it 300. Um, beat chop. Pattern one, boom, boom. Turn this up, because I always turned it down a little bit. Yeah, that sounds cool. All right, so let's start with that. That sounds cool. We'll leave it at that. All right, I want to find that other part of the song to sample as well. So what I'm listening for is when there were breaks in the song. When you look at the sample, you could tell that this is just going to have a whole bunch of drums. Or a whole bunch of loud frequencies. You want to kind of find the breaks, maybe like... Or there. You could tell right there that it's the change. So like you'd want to start it right here, the change in like the mood of the track try this four two three four 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 it should be like right here. Make sure you get in the middle so there's no popping. And we're going to do the same thing here. I'm not too worried about the pitch being the same because I'm going to use this uh, probably to just be an intro. So when it drops, it sounds cool. And let's go back into Edison. Turn it up. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm gonna leave this one the same pitch as what it was. Just because I think it'll be cool when it comes in. Whoops. Okay. I just have a little bit Okay. So you easily work with that, man. You can easily make that sound. It could be a boom bap beat or even like a just a normal trap beat. So for this one, I'm gonna try and make something a little trappy. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, put some drums on this. See what I can uh, make of this. So I'll be back in one second. So uh, we're about 20 minutes later, and <clears throat> I just came up with something pretty simple. Uh, I want to do showcase the the little bit of different things you could do with it. So I added like just a, a different type of vibe right here. So I'll let it play through and just like talk about a little bit what I did with the samples. <laughs> Added a little bit of a Fetrix here. So really, like I said, it's really about just how you flip the sample and making it your own. There's a lot of different ways you could flip it. I could easily hear this as like a boom bap something, you know, something dope like that. For this part, I just recorded, I soloed this and I recorded this whole thing here. I just played. I like a lot of variation. So I went here, just double clicked and made made new, uh, <clears throat> made the uh, pattern unique and did that for like each one. So, except for these two, I just play, played those. But, a little bit of variation. With the drums over it, you're going to notice that it didn't match perfectly. If I probably left it with a little bit of swing like, I, like it was in the very beginning when I sampled it, it would have probably matched up fine, but it still came out fine. Yep, so then I just I just recorded that and pitched it down a whole octave. Brought it into the Edison and pitched it down an octave and then got that really cool for changing the pace. And it let me do different shit with the hi-hat. The hi-hats, I added a different hi-hat and a different drum in 808 uh, section. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so um, it's really like I said, it's not about the sample itself. It's about how you flip it and you could really do anything I really believe that everything is a sample you could sample just about anything and uh, Yeah, so like I said earlier, I'm gonna have a bunch of links down here for you guys that you can start uh, digging for samples that are not super popular and I've found samples like on <laughs> Soundscape on like direct TV like I put music on for my dog and I've heard some cool stuff like harps or flutes or something. That's another thing you could do too here is like, just you gotta be able to articulate what you're looking for. So like think of exactly the sounds you want. So if you're like a flute person, you like flutes, you could like look up Japanese flutes, look a whole section, flute samples. Um, learn what the instruments are too. Um, 
I'm drawing a blank, but I know what the instrument, a Kodo. So you could like look up like Japanese Kodo and you could find some cool stuff. So learn what these instruments are. If you got to download the 54 minutes, I've done that so many times and I've chopped up stuff and I downloaded all 54 minutes and just like did the whole entire album. I, I would go through and sample search on the whole album because they don't have the four minutes uh, sni like four minutes tracks on here. Like, come on, that's begging to be sampled. Alrighty, so you get my point, guys. Everything's a sample. Everything I've clicked on, I've heard something that you could sample. Um, uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna have some uh, really cool news of a upcoming uh, producer contest. I'm gonna have one where I'm gonna be dropping a sample for you guys to download, and the best one to flip it is gonna win some type of prize. And then I'm gonna have a battle royale as well, where the winner is gonna win like 15 kits. I'm not joking. I had a, a, a whole bunch of people from Soundcash and some of my personal friends, like uh, Ghost McKenzie, um, is gonna put up his, some of his kits and. I mean, the winner is going to be winning like 400 bucks worth of shit. So it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm excited, guys. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, see you guys later. Thanks.